Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, we are at the PTI farm and I want to show you some of uh, the work we've been doing with irrigation here at the PTI farms. Some of you have been to the PTI farm and know what we're doing with our water recycling program here at the farm, but we've got a retention pond that's filled by drainage tile on the farm and we recycle that rainwater to irrigate our corn and soybeans here at the PTI farm. Now, this summer has been a little challenging with the amount of rainfall that we've received, so we've had to irrigate quite a bit of water. And you can see from the retention pond, we're about out of water. There's not a whole lot left. Well, we'll walk down here into the pond, but I mean, I can walk <laughs> all the, almost all the way down to the bottom. We don't have a whole lot of water here left to go. So the reason this pond is so low is because the amount of summer rainfall we've received. We're about four inches down from normal rainfall through most growing seasons. I want to show you some of the rainfall that we've received throughout the various months of the growing season. Take a look at this data. April is the month we received the most rainfall at 121% of normal rainfall. So that's what delayed planting into, uh, into May a lot of cases, but, but we received a lot of rainfall, the most of the growing season in April. Then in May, we only received 57% of normal rainfall. June was a hot and dry month. We only received 39% of normal rainfall. July, was hit or miss in a lot of areas. We saw a lot of rain near us, but we only received about 67% of normal rainfall. And August was 60%. So we did receive some rains to keep us going a little bit, but but never ever saw a good soaking rains to, to, to help eliminate some of the irrigation that we needed to do. So the total for the growing season is 13.74 inches. Again, we're, we're down about four inches of rain. And so we had to replace that four inches of rain with this irrigation program here at the farm. And then we put on an additional four and a half. So I'm about nine and a half inches of uh, water that we were irrigating here at the farm to compensate for the lack of rainfall and trying to push yields where we're hoping that they'll go to here by the time we get to harvest. But, but this is what this looks like. This is why we built this program because we want to be able to control water. It's what it's all about. If I can't order up a rainfall with mother nature, I can turn the, the uh, irrigation on here at PTI farm and use this recycled rainfall. Cause again, this water, that's in this or was in this retention pond is all coming from our drain tile. So back in April, when we received 121% of our normal rainfall, tiles were flowing, that excess water comes into the reservoir and we hold it for dear life. So in middle of growing season, when we're hot and dry, I can recycle that rainwater, take it out to my corn and soybeans, irrigate and fertigate. So just wanted to give you a, a kind of a look at what we're dealing with right now. We're hoping over the, the fall months, over the winter months, we can get some moisture and refill this retention pond back up so we'll be ready to go for the crop in 2025. Hey, thanks for watching.